Hi, I'm Lily. This is my first video, so excuse me if it's a bit unprofessional. I wanted to start a art YouTube channel to express myself and help other people and just have a fun time really. So today I was thinking I can just do a little sketch just to try things out, just see what it's all about really. You will be seeing this cat in a lot of photos. I'm going to show you the things I'm going to be using. It's not that much, it's just like pen pencils and things I'm going to be drawing on, just in case you want to do it too. So I have, I don't know exactly what you call this, but you bring it out like that. I guess it's like a, it's kind of like an easel. I do have an easel, but it's a bit harder when you're using a book because it's not as stable. And this one, because it's hard wood, it's quite, it's quite solid, so that's really good. I have some pencils, they're all like 12 artist grades, light to dark, and I have um, graphite pen pencil, 6B, I hardly ever use this, I use it a lot in college when I'm doing life drawing because it's really chunky and you just you can just do whatever you want with it. And I have these cardboard sticks, these ones are pretty old now, I have to get some new ones. Um, but even if they've got pencil on them from the last time, it's still really good because you can just smudge an area that you've not put any pencil on. It's because it's got pencil from last time. But these are really handy when you're trying to shade, like smudge, but you don't want to use your finger because that, that's just a whole mess. I found that it's just not a good idea to do that because it gets all over this part. It, this part of my hand is just constant constantly covered in pencil so I try and put some like kitchen roll on the other part of the the drawing so it doesn't happen this one's especially good if you're trying to do um shade little areas excuse me I'm just getting hair all over me anyway yeah so these are really good I'm, I'll be using these a lot I don't know how nobody knows about these they're just really good there's like a rubber on this end and then a brush on that end. I don't really use the brush that much. It's just to brush away the, the rubbings off this end. But it's a pencil, but it's got rubber in it. When I'm drawing just a normal line drawing or something like a portrait, a shaded portrait or something like that, my favourite pencil to use is a 4B. This is just a normal Reeves 4B. You can get them anywhere. I personally shop the range because it's just down the road from me. WH Smith. Uh... You can probably even get them from like Sainsbury's or Tesco's. I've never tried it, but they're just normal pencils. And then for the lighter ones, my favourite one's normally like a 2B. That's just for... Like, I normally use a 2B when I'm first starting off, like I'm drawing the circles for the head or faintly drawing out the lines that go from, like, from the side of the face. And to show where the eyes and the nose and the mouth will be, because it's really light. And you can just rub it out. You can do that with a 4B, just do it really, really light. But I find it best to just use a, a light pencil to begin with. I don't know if I've got one here, but when I'm doing like hair and stuff, I like to use like a 9. But 9B is quite, it is quite uh, dark, but I still really enjoy using it. Because you can go lighter, just don't it press as much. But 6B is good as well if you for for darker. But I think I have, I have a thing for 9B, it's just I really like using 9Bs. I think I'm going to be drawing Matty Healy from 975. Just normal line drawing, shaded. Because that, that will probably draw our attention because many people like 975 and I really like drawing like singers and stuff. Because uh, I, I painted post blur. I'll show you actually. It might be a bit glary from... I hope you can see that. It's probably not as good on, on camera as I'm hoping, but a bit glary. Oh, not doing it. Anyway, yeah, that's Post Malone. I'm really proud of it, actually. Now I'm going to set up everything on my desk and start drawing. I think we're doing a portrait and landscape but that's what I'm gonna do so what I'm gonna do is tell you what I'm gonna be doing and then do it and then speed it up so it's not a really long process but I'll keep you updated with what I'm doing so right now I'm gonna start off by just doing the 
the basics of the face, like the shape, where the eyes are, where the nose, mouth, ears are. Sometimes the eyes reach the tip of the ear, but everyone's different, so like with Matty's, his eyes are a bit lower than the tip of his ears, and his eyebrows are nearly on par with the top of his ears, so it's different for everyone, so you just have to study your picture carefully. So I've changed angles so I can get some natural light in and I've printed out some pictures. This is this one's a bit closer up, this one's um further away. This one will be the one that I'm going to be using probably. So yeah, back to it. Much like Matty at the moment, it looks more like a robot, or I have no idea, but it's going to be quite hard to make it look because he's got so much character in his face. It's going to be hard. <laughs> the trick for drawing eyes is to draw the whole circle even if it overlaps the eyelid because they can just rub that out because when you try and do like a semicircle or just a circle with just a bit of the eye underneath the eyelid it's really hard to do because it will it won't be a, a real circle it will be like an oval or something so it's best to do a whole circle and then rub it out <laughs> I have a habit of making the eyes too big, so I'm going to try and fix that. I think it would be a good thing sometimes, because I don't like to do drawings realistic. I like it to be, you know, in my style. Uh, this is all I've got, where I've got to. I've just changed the eyes. There's not much, but I'm I'm getting there. I'm going to take a break now. I'll be back, and I might lose some natural light, but I'm sure you'll be able to still see it. I'm back from my break now. I'm going to show you close up because I think it might be harder to see on the tripod. This is where I am right now. Excuse the cat's purring in my squeaky chair. I think it's getting there. There's a couple of things I need to fix, like. The neck is too thick, the lips are too wide, forehead's a bit weird. I need to fix the ear as well. There's a couple of things I need to do, so yeah, I'll keep you updated.
So a quick update, this is where I am so far. I've done most of the shading. I need to do the lips, the ears, the hair and the neck. But it's going pretty well so far. I'm trying to get it as close to the picture as possible. But it's really hard. You have to spend a lot of time uh, practicing. So last night I ran out of time and sunlight. So I'm carrying on today and hopefully I can I can get it finished. actually going to leave out his necklaces and the chain i've tried doing it before and it's gone all right but it just it just doesn't look right i think it might ruin it so i'm just going to leave them out So that's the, the face and the neck done. All I need to do now is the hair. So this is the finished result. I think it went pretty well. The hair is not too good. I mean, it was pretty hard hair to copy, um, but I'm proud of it. So this is the end result. I would say that camera never picks up how it actually looks. Sometimes I take a picture of what I'm drawing to get another perspective on it of it because it looks different. I don't know why, but that's it. I'm not totally convinced it looks exactly like Matty, but for a kind of a quick sketch, I think it went pretty well. Thank you for watching this. I really enjoyed doing that, and I'm sure I'll put some more videos up of me drawing. And I think I'm going to show you like my GCSE sketchbooks, maybe A level. So yeah. I'm going to link my Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter and maybe Spotify um, down below so you can check those out. I put the, I will put this one on Instagram and I've got the Post Malone one on Instagram too if you want to have a closer look. But yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.